Hello everybody, this is Asiel Baez, Unia Day, and I'm making this quick video for you guys. Um, this is to pretty much share with you guys my personal beliefs on Bisum or a witch's broom and, and to show you guys and tell you guys how I ended up getting my personal uh, my personal Bisum. So, in many traditions and in many religions, sweeping the floor of negativities is a of, of negative energies is one of the major rituals, or it's one of the rituals, no matter what religion or tradition it is. Um, for many of you who are watching me, you probably have come across the witch's broom. If you have practiced Wicca, or if you have practiced any form of witchcraft, you you have come across or seen or heard or you know, being aware of uh, something called the witch's broom, which in in witchcraft language or lingo is called the besom. So the besom is the broom that is used to sweep away the negative, the negativity, any negative energy that's to, for cleansing anything. And it's used to sweep the ritual space, the ritual area in which you are going to do something magical in or that you're cleansing your house or that you're cleansing a space or whatnot. In Orisha, in the religion of Orisha, in Santeria, in Lukumi, um, I'm not sure about Candomblé or any of the other African diaspora religions, but in Orisha, in Cuban Santeria, we do use a broom. We use something called um, Escoba de Palmiche or palm broom and I'll, I'm gonna try and find a picture and post it somewhere on the video so you guys can compare and you can see but it's um it's a broom that's made out of um uh, parts of a palm tree like where the little the little coconuts things and it, it's it's just parts of a palm tree it's you know it's made out of palm tree and I forgot exactly what that particular part of the palm tree is called but they just get palmiche Um, which is like, like I said, like a palm tree, and they make a broom out of that, and then they use to sweep, which is what the slaves used to use. So there was nothing really magical about that particular broom. It was just simply the broom that the slaves were able to make and use, and then from there on, it carried on um, to continuously use that particular broom. I don't use that broom. I don't use that type of broom, mainly because I don't find it appealing. I don't think it looks good. And I like my besom, and I like my personal besom. In Lukumi, in Orisha, the broom is just simply called Ekoa, or which means broom. In witchcraft, it's where it's called besom, okay? So, the besom is used to sweep the area, to sweep your house, to cleanse. If you want to roll your coconut, if you're using something like, you know, Lukumi tradition, which would be rolling a coconut and whatnot, that's what you would use to be some for. The only reason why I'm making this video is to tell you guys, because a lot of people, and it's okay, a lot of people use their particular, their, 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 um, their broom from their house, and the same broom that you're sweeping your floor with, etc., etc. And as anything in magic goes, anything in spirituality goes, I'm a firm believer that you should have things, which a lot of you will agree with me, you should have specific things for religion and specific things for your house. Um, if you have no other option and all you have is your house broom, then use your house broom. But for all of us who live here in the United States and for all of us and for all of you who are watching me, if you have some sort of access to the internet, that means that you can totally one way or another, get another broom that will be your magical broom. Whether you call it a besom, whether you call it a micha, whether it's made out of this or made out of that or made out of the other, it doesn't really matter. The point is that if you can have your consecrated, ritualized, religious broom, then I would highly suggest that you get a, a, a religious broom for religious purposes and your house broom for your house purposes, for cleaning all your dust and your whatever things that fall on the ground and whatnot. Um, but I definitely suggest and highly recommend that you try and make the distinction so that whenever you're sweeping negativity, whenever you're cleansing your house, whenever you're doing uh, something spiritual, you're not utilizing the same broom that you were just sweeping dog hair and dust and whatever with. 
So with one room you clean the physical and with another room you're cleansing the spiritual. As I am chatting with you guys, I, you guys will notice that I'm like caressing my broom or I've been touching my broom, my be some. And that's because I genuinely love, genuine, genuinely love my be some and I have a very good and nice connection with her. Um, and that's the whole point of this video is to encourage all of you to either get a broom, a palmiche broom or get yourself a be some. And it can be made out of anything. It could be a simple regular house broom can be turned and, and, and consecrated and empowered to become your magical broom. You just keep it uh, in a magical area and for only for magical purposes. So it is what it is. I highly suggest it. I highly recommend it. Works for me. I'm sure it, it works for many of you out there. But I'm sure there's many of you who are watching me who don't really know any of these concepts or anything and you're utilizing your own house broom and whatnot. In places like Cuba, for example, where there's a more lack of materials and of things, obviously everybody uses a regular house broom for sweeping and for doing whatever and for their coconut cleansings and for whatever else it might be. But when they do have to use a palmiche broom, people will go out of their way to find a palmiche broom and usually, honestly speaking, you'll find it behind the front door and that will be used as a protection charm, but that's a whole other uh, story. So <clears throat> the next part of this particular video, this is just me ranting and telling you guys a few things, is to tell you guys how I ended up with this particular besom, with uh, this particular broom, which I've had for several years now, and uh, which is pretty much my lifelong besom. I, I don't see myself using any other besom, any other broom. I love this one and whatnot. <clears throat> so how did I end up with this besom? Many years ago, I went, um, I was living in Rochester, New York. I moved back to Rochester, New York from living here in Florida. And I found this uh, thrift store. It was um, like an indoors market place type of thing, like an indoors thrift place. So it was like a, a, a big uh, place that had a bunch of little thrift stores inside, like little cubicle type of things you know like little spots that people rented out and they all had their thrift uh thrift store things and whatever a bunch of antiques and stuff like that so i was walking around that store and as i turned towards the far 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 end of the store when i reached that that side um i remember that i saw the besom i saw magdalene that's her name magdalene i saw magdalene hanging from in, in one of the little stores and one of the little walls of a store and I literally ran I when I saw that broom from like over there I just screamed and I ran to the broom and I was like oh my god this is my beast I'm I love her I love her I love her amazing amazing I fell in love with her the minute that I saw her and um, I was just dumbstruck at how beautiful I thought you know that I mean to me the, the beast is just a beautiful unique work of art and if I can ever meet the person who actually created the besom I would I would just be ecstatic um, but anyways so I ended up seeing her and I ran to her like I said I screamed because I'm very uh, when I see something that I like and that it catches my attention especially something that's religious everybody that knows me knows that I go wild so anyways I ran to her and I saw her and I was like oh my god this is exactly what I was looking for it's like exactly what the it's me. It's me from one from the last bristle, bristle to the top of the stat of, of the shaft. It's all me. I love this entire besom. So I saw her there, and she had her price tag. I don't precisely remember what the price was right now, but I'm gonna say it was probably somewhere around forty or sixty bucks, um, which I thought was very reasonable considering, you know, the the, the broom itself. I thought it was amazing. Um, and I remember that that day I held her in my hands and I was just like, oh my God, I really want this broom, I really want this broom. And I saw the price and then I realized that I had um, like a regular human being, you know, I had some bills or some sort of responsibility. I had to give money for something. I don't remember what the bill was, but I had to give money for some sort of bill. I had something that needed to be paid or whatnot. 
knowing myself, of course, I immediately I stopped and I just simply said, okay, am I going to be responsible or am I just going to be um, compulsive and buy the, the broom or, you know, am I going to be responsible and pay my bill or am I going to be compulsive and just buy my broom and I'll figure everything else later on. At that very moment, I decided to just simply be responsible. So I said, I have to pay my bill or whatever it was that I was paying. I have to pay for this thing so that I can just get it out of the way and I'll come back for the broom. I'll come back for my be some later on. So what I ended up doing simply was I, uh, she was hanging on the, she was hanging on the wall. So I ended up just holding her in my hand and I tapped her three times, which is normally how I awaken her. I tapped her three times and I spoke to her and I said, oh, and by the way, the store was filled with people that day. But anyways, I said to her, um, you are a tool of power and if you are meant to be with me, please shield yourself and be here when I come back for you, when I have the money to pay for you. And I hung her back up on the wall and I, I, I put her there and I just kept staring at her and I debated with myself whether or not I wanted to buy her right then and there. But, you know, the responsible thing was for me to just simply pay the bill and I went ahead and I did it just like that and I left the store without uh, Magdalene. So two weeks later, I go back into the store when I got paid again from work and all that stuff. I went, I ran, I, I, I rushed to the store and I went straight to the little shop where, I, I, where Magdalene had been. And the minute that I get there, Magdalene is still hanging on the wall. So once again, obviously, I yelled, I ran up to her, I picked her up, I gave her a hug, I kissed her, I thanked her, and I took her. So when I went to the register, the broom, like I said, the, the broom was like somewhere 40 or, or from 49 to 60 bucks, something along those lines, that's what the little tag said. But when I got to the register, um, apparently there, there was some sort of sale or some sort of something going on, and I ended up getting her for 20 bucks. This B-sum cost me $20. Thank you very much, Magdalene. And then immediately, I mean, when the lady rang her up, I, I just, I, I just couldn't believe it, you know. So I was like twenty dollars. I cannot believe it was. I think I ended up paying like twenty one something, you know, with the taxes or whatever. I think it was like twenty one something, but I, I just couldn't believe it. And immediately I got home. I ended up cleansing her, consecrating her, naming her. Her name is Magdalene. The name just popped out. She gave me her own name. Her name is Magdalene. Her, she has been called Magdalene ever since. Um, and that's pretty much how I ended up with this particular B-sum. And I, I, that was my story. I'm in love with this B-sum. I've been in love with this B-sum. Um, that's how I ended up get, gathering her. You know, your experience may be different, but I highly, highly suggest that if you are someone who is spiritual and you are someone who is in whatever tradition of spirituality, that you get yourself some sort of magical broom or spiritual broom that is only for spiritual purposes for you to cleanse your house. This goes beyond traditions, this goes beyond beliefs, this goes beyond whatever. This is not, I don't care what you guys believe in, the, what, the point of this video is for me to share my story, how I ended up with mine, but to encourage you guys to make a distinction between your regular broom and your uh, magical brooms for when you're sweeping physical things and from when you're sweeping spiritual things. So go out, get yourself a broom, go out and make yourself a broom, become creative, do something fun, magic and witchcraft and spirituality and all these things and, and life it's about what you decide to do with it. It's about what you decide to do for yourself. So make yourself a broom. I went through a long time that I, that I had a makeshift uh, besom, which I don't even know exactly what I ended up doing with it, to be honest, because I, I probably gave it away to somebody and I just don't remember who. But make yourself, make distinction between your physical tools and your magical tools. That's me, that's what works for me, may not. If, I don't know if it'll be what works for you, but I highly just want to encourage you all to do it. In my house, in my temple, in my lay, in my 
group in my, in my the people that come with me everybody has seen the besom at some point or another the besom has been used for one or another ritual whether it has been an orisha ceremony or whatever or spirits or wiccan or magical or the broom is used often and besides my personal use of it um and i highly 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 suggest excuse me suggested as one of the tools that you should all uh start trying to to see if it works for you and if it works for you i highly encourage that you continue using your witch's broom including for things like magical travel and, and or like astral travel i'm sorry uh any type of meditative you can always use the broom to be your bridge to the astral realm and whatnot so uh that's the point of this video thank you guys so much for watching if you would like a house cleansing with me or done by me please contact me if you would like any type of cleansings or workings done by me please contact me if you would like some sort of a tarot card reading with me please contact me any type of you know any of my things you can always contact me with any of your questions with any of your concerns any of the workings that you might need I'm very strict about some of the workings that I do and some of the workings that I do not do um, as you all may know by now uh, Please remember that I do run a temple that is open to the public and that I try helping the public as much as possible. I accept all forms of donations and offerings. So donations of money, donations of books, donations of materials, donations of clothing, donations of just about anything that you can imagine, I'll, I'll probably accept it. And I tend to keep some of the things for myself, some of the things for the temple and distribute other things to the people that are around me, the people neighbors and I, I move everything anything that come, that is donated to me I try and move it I try and move it and I try and to uh, work it into continuing to help my temple and continuing to help my personal mission in life and whatnot so please do send me your comments and your concerns and your um, uh, your topics for future videos and everything I love making the videos I love chatting with all of you guys Hit me up if you want to do any of, uh, if you want any type of reading or any type of working from me, including, remember, all the classes that I'm doing, uh, the private classes. All of the classes with me are privately done from now, or have been uh, privately done from a, a while ago. So it will be a one-on-one -on -one basis class. You and I, you and I, you and I, and you and I decide when to do the next class, and et cetera, et cetera. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have learned something new in this video. I hope you have enjoyed listening to me speaking. And I will see you guys in the next video that I make. Ache, 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 do. Bye, you guys.